All right, so we are about to use the lathe to make some washers. They're a pretty simple thing to make, but you have to understand the step-by-step -step process. So this is what I want you to be writing your notes down uh, in there. So, of course, step one, we're making this out of white Delrin. It's one inch diameter. So our step one is to take our facing tool and we're gonna face that. So we'll go ahead and turn this on at about, uh, in this case, we're gonna be running 1100 RPM. So you're gonna come in and this is what we call the face of the front. So we're gonna to touch off on the face of that tool. So, and then we're gonna take about 30 thousandths and we're gonna turn that down and we're facing off. So this is what we call facing off the part. So, so that is step one. Step two, we're going to drill a hole. So at this point, we need to go back into our tailstock. So we're going to basically put a center drill into the tailstock here. So we need to, uh, at this point, drill a starter hole or center hole. So this is an 82 degree uh, number three center drill. So wouldn't that be a pilot hole too? It is going to have and serve as a pilot. So um, it does provide a lead for the drill bit that we're going to go into. So it doesn't walk around as you try. It helps to center and keep that uh, in the center. So drills can walk uh, here. So I'll bring my tailstock up. This locks my tailstock in. So I'll lock that in place. Uh, I have a spindle here uh, on the tailstock too. So I'm not, this one would lock this in place. I don't want to lock that, but we'll go ahead and turn this back on again. So, and I just go in and that's all I need to do to center that. So, so there's my, center so now i'm going to take the center drill out so so again so step one was to face step two is to center drill step three is to drill so now we will need to make sure i'm going to give you a size i'm going to give you an od that's the outside diameter i'm going to give you an id that's the inside diameter so you're going to have to hold those now on a washer the ID, when we drill that hole, uh, will basically be about uh, a 30 second over the diameter of the actual threaded screw that would be going through there. So if it's a 3 8 diameter screw, uh, we would go a 30 second over 3 8 uh, to put that in. That way, that, that's what we call a clearance for the screw. So, so all right. about like 17, 30 seconds in? Yep, so then we would be at, uh, uh, so if you take about 3 8 We'd say three eighths is the same as six sixteenths, is the same as twelve thirty seconds. So uh, thirty second clearance over three eight would be a thirteen thirty second drill bit. And you don't need to go too deep in there because all we're doing, uh, you're going to make five washers here. So okay, so there's our drill bit. We'll turn that off. All right, now so we have faced center drilled and drilled out to the size that we need our next stop is to turn so and in this case we'll put on our right-handed turning tool that is a tpg 431 uh insert that's a triangular insert tpg 431 that's a type of insert so triangle inserts come in all sorts of different shapes depending on the cutting action that's going on so, all right, so I'm going to touch off the outside diameter here. Now, this is one inch, and I'm going to turn this down to uh, seven eighths. So uh, that means that I got 125 thousandths on here. So I'm going to first move it uh, 60 thousandths. And we're going to turn this back about an inch and a half. This is where you want to control your feed rate. So make it nice and smooth. So you will get a uh, chip like this. So that's all right. So if you're worried about it, you can stop to break the chip. You do have to watch. So I want you to hang that out about two inches. So, so and just turn the back of that uh, there. Now we'll get this off of here so we can kind of see things better. So, and at this point, we would take a measurement so of that to check that. Now, I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna take the measurement. You guys at this point know how to measure for your diameter. So, uh, 
we've got that. So again, let's go back through the steps. Step one was? Take face to face. Step two is? Touch off the face. Yeah, step two is the center drill. Yeah, step please. three is drill. drill. Step four is turn. 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 So, and now uh, step six uh, is step to, five. or step five, <laughs> sorry, uh, is to part off. So this is what we call a parting tool. It's just a thin blade. That blade measures a hundred thousandths. So we have to take that into consideration. Hundred thousandths. Th hundred thousandths thick. Yes, this dimension here is a hundred thousandths. So we're gonna use the blade. We're gonna come off, we're gonna touch the face. Then we're gonna move it the hundred thousandths for the blade. And then we're gonna move it an eighth of an inch for the thickness of the washer. So, all right. So we're gonna make a one eighth inch thick washer. Here. So I'm gonna bring this up. So, and we can kind of line this up and we'll see roughly where we're at. So. Turn this on, just kind of visually move that till you see it, there I'm touching, so that's my zero point, so I need to move it to hundred thousandths. So, now, at this point, bring the camera in here for just a second, I'm going to kind of show you, so you can kind of see how the right edge of the blade is lined up with the face of the part. So so that's the hundred thousandths. Now, if we started to cut right there, we would just be facing the part again. So we need to move it another 125 thousandths at this point. So I'm gonna take my dial, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Uh, this particular uh, laid on our Z travel is in ten thousands increments. So if you wanted uh, half of ten thousands or five thousands, you'd have to put it some way in the middle. So, so I'm going to tell you right now, as so you practice, just do 130. So we'll leave a little extra. Now I'm ready to part off. Right. So I'm There's the first one. All right. Don't worry. Don't go fishing yet. So we want five of these. So that is the very first one. So, so now I'm gonna move my 100 plus 130. So now I'm gonna move another 230. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So there's 140, 190, 230. Second. And to bring it back, the same thing. do the same thing till I have five. Now, doing it this way, this is a good way for us to real quick get five washers. It doesn't take a whole long time to uh, do this. We'll have to go back in and deburr them a little bit, clean them up, but that'll give you five washers. Now, also think about the depth of that drill bit that we need to go. So uh, if we have basically a quarter of an inch the hundred thousandths for the blade plus the hundred and thirty thousandths for the thickness is almost a quarter of an inch. And we're making five of these. We need to drill that hole how deep? A inch and a quarter. A little over an inch and a quarter so that we get those five inches off of there. Now, how do you take a look at that? Well, bring the phone over here. So on our spindle here on our tailstock, there's a little inch uh, indicator. Oh. So you can kind of bring that up. I generally will set that at an inch and I bring my tool up to the face and then I know how deep I'm drilling so the hole. I was just so using a strip of duct tape. Hand. So um, <laughs> you could also use a strip of duct tape if you like, so that'll work or something else to tape it. All right, so now let's review. What are the steps to making this washer? Step one. Take the face to So face. 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 Step two. Drill. Center. Drill. Center drill. drill. Step three, drill, drill. drill bit with whatever size based on what I give you in terms of the OD and ID. So step four, turn. Turn. Step five, part off. So everybody got it? Yeah. So every single word you see. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs>